What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of What Is. Now, What Is, What Is, you might ask yourself. What Is is basically a show where I take a quick look at recently released indie games, whether it's for the Nintendo Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, stuff that people send me over, and maybe I don't have time to do a full review for it, but I do want to sort of showcase the game to see if it's a game that you might be interested in. Today, we're taking a look at a Nintendo Switch exclusive indie called Castle of Heart. And when I first saw this game, I thought it looked very Castlevania-ish. Castle of Heart, Castlevania. So I was interested in it. A 2D uh, action platformer. You know, those are always good, solid games, in my opinion. I always enjoy playing those. It's obviously a genre I grew up playing. So right now you're seeing the story of the game. Basically, you are a knight and a cursed emperor dude comes to your village and puts a curse on the whole village. He makes everyone turn to stone but you sort of have the power of love with you sort of like Huey Lewis and uh, the power of love allows you to not fully turn into stone so that's pretty much the whole game um, you're trying to stay alive your life meter it's constantly going down and you have to collect hearts and when your life meter gets to a certain point uh, one of your arms will turn into stone and then if it gets down to a lesser point you will of course turn to stone and die so I like the presentation I like this um, sort of comic book art style I like the voice acting in it. Um, I just wish the game was as good as that. You'll, you'll see. Uh, I've been playing this game for a little bit. I haven't gotten too far into it. But uh, it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of things I like. And unfortunately, there's some things I don't like that really sort of hold the game back, in my opinion. Um, but as you can see, this is sort of an action segment here. The game sort of breaks up things like that. Um, we're just going along, trying to stay alive here. A lot of interactivity in the environment, so that's pretty cool. Feels It feels lively, um, which I like. Hit these things. That, that was a great jump. Swing across this. Get some more health so we don't turn into stone. And we are at a checkpoint. So those are little like action segments that sort of break up the game. This is the main thing you'll have. So here's your character. As you can see, you have two arms, two weapons at any time. You find different weapons throughout the, the game itself. And uh, by defeating different characters, you can pick up their weapons, so on and so forth. I like the visual style of the game i think it's it's kind of simplistic but it's clean i like how the leaves are going by and they're sort of you know multi-tiered you know they're not just all in one uh one plane you got some scrolling in the background and something you know it's nothing great it's nothing groundbreaking but it's uh it's decent you know it, it gets the job done in my opinion so we have another weapon here let's pick up this weapon as this guy hits me And then you have things like special attacks, which I just wasted my special attack on that. Uh, you have special attacks. Oh, look, I lost an arm. I'm, I'm slowly dying. It seems like your life meter goes down a little too fast in this game. I'm going to go ahead and say it. And it's like, um, you, you, next, you know, like you get hit once and then, um, next thing you know, you're, you're knocking on heaven's door. Luckily, there's a lot of, um checkpoint so whenever you hit a checkpoint it refills your life meter so that's good um and i'm not the thing of it is to me it's like you know blah 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 dark souls or whatever but the challenge isn't in necessarily the gameplay itself like why did that guy take so many hits i don't i don't understand that i feel like he should have died pretty quick and that's a weird thing when you jump on someone they just kind of like hide underneath you it's like, why can't I just stab that dude or something? Jesus Christ. See, the difficulty sort of comes from... Okay, I'm, I'm dead. The difficulty doesn't necessarily come from the game itself. To me, the difficulty comes within the controls. Because the controls are very sluggish. There's, there's definitely a delay when you press a button and like look at how many characters are on screen right now and this is an early level in the game so it's like you have all these characters on the screen your your combat isn't all that effective and really that fluid um so i don't know it's sort of between that and constantly like you know that's cool i like the little projectile attacks and stuff like that I missed that jump. Oh, 
I could just go through here. Ooh, we got a got one of those things. So those are like little collectibles. Um, I'm sure you unlock something. Like, why did that dude just do so much damage to me? Like, it just feels a bit unbalanced, in my opinion. And I'm not complaining, like, oh, the game is too hard. Like, the game is challenging, but I feel like the challenge isn't a good challenge. It feels like an unbalanced challenge. I don't know. But maybe that's just me. Maybe there are people who completely disagree with me, and that's fine. But that's really my main complaint with the game is... The, the challenge is just all over the place. The controls are a bit sluggish. And it just feels like it could have used a bit more polishing. Like, there's no reason for that dude to take so many hits. He's on, I have, like, a sword. A, a you know, a shield. I got armor on. And, like, like what? Uh, like, dude, you're, you're nothing. Why, why, like, why was that guy four hits after he dropped his shield? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, what just hurt me there? You see, like, like what just happened there? I don't know. I really, I really want to like this game, but the fact that it just took so many hits to knock out that one dude who already had lost his shield. Oh, there's spikes there. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at how many hits it takes us. Alright, so he's got no shield. Two, three, four, five. It took five hits. I'm a freaking knight. I didn't mean to throw that. Alright, let's get past this part. Maybe we can see something cool. Got some bombs down here. And the game is very linear, too. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, I don't mind linear games. Just something worth noting. And see, I like things like that. How the little environment sort of breaks down. You can, like, knock these things down and cause flames. But the AI is kind of stupid. And they'll just, like, run directly into it. Like, watch. I'm on fire. But, like, that dude's just like, oh, cool, fire. Yeah, no big deal. Uh, I guess I gotta go up for this. As my health drains. Alright. Let's make the jump, buddy. Okay. Ah, let's get our little crossbow. There we go! Oh, you gotta knock that thing down. Okay. It still looks dangerous, though. Well, I guess it, it did okay. Um. Okay. Now there's a checkpoint there. We're good. We are good, folks. But, I mean, you can sort of see what this game is about. And I feel like I would have liked it a lot more with more polish. You know, some of these enemies shouldn't take as many hits as they do. Um, some of the, you know, the control should have been way tighter. In my opinion, you know, it's a it's a 2D puzzle platformer. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not bad at video games. It's just like three hits for for a, a, a guy with no defense mechanisms, and it seems like all over the place. Like that guy took two hits. Why did that guy take two hits? There's no rhyme or reason. Throw a bomb at you. And you, you can defend, but it's like... Sort of like a parry. But see, it doesn't really... It doesn't really help. Um, oh, God. You know what? I, I, I don't like this game. I don't like this game. I, I, I want to like this game, but it, it's frustrating. And it's not like... It's not, like, good frustrating. It's not, like, you know, a game like The End is Nigh or Super Meat Boy where it's, like, everything is tight 
everything is well done it's just a very challenging game this game is a challenge because the game is just kind of slow it's kind of choppy the the control has input lag there's and not a you know, lot of rhyme or reason to the actual game so i actually think um when i die I, I, i'm done with this good in theory it, it has a uh, it's it got an interesting story. I think the graphics are pretty good. Um, they're clean enough, but it's just I don't know. It's not a. It's just doesn't feel like a really good game in my opinion. I feel like it could have been a lot more. And I actually, all right, maybe we got to go across here. That's that's great. Why did that just go up, by the way? The little window thing. No, because we went across. Uh, my arm is... Yeah, okay. So we're done. This is Castle of Heart. You may enjoy it. I did not really enjoy it. I, I love spawning and just having a guy beat my ass. But yeah, so this is Castle of Heart for the Nintendo Switch. It has potential. I do like the aesthetic of the game, but unfortunately, just the gameplay is not there. Let me know if you've checked out this game in the comments section down below, if you did what you thought of it. And thank you for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, check out the links in the description box down below. We got all sorts of fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.